All right, um, my name is Kenny Mendez, and the topic I chose to speak about today is what you do in private, what show in public. And I chose this topic today because I felt like I had a lot of experience with that um, prior to coming here. So as some of y'all, or most of y'all know, I'm prior military. I was in the Army for seven and a half years, and I don't speak about it much, but uh, not that I'm not proud, I just, you know, it's kind of like an old chapter in my life, and this is a, another chapter. But something I am really proud of is my dress uniform top, and I want to show you guys, because it has a lot of, uh, all my awards and accomplishments on there, and I'm going to explain to you and interpret kind of like how I got these awards and how my mentality changed on success as I became a leader in the military. It's not much, but it's honest work. You know. You know. Damn. Damn. So, uh, we do have someone who currently is in the army, so you can verify that all this is real, and I'm not making it up. Who's this? Shut up. I just want to say. Um, Marines have the best uniform, by the way. They always have, and they always have. So, I know some of you guys have served. Um, Caruso, I don't know if yours fits you anymore. Oh, sure. Mine still does. <laughs> does not. So I'm going to pay for that Thank you for noticing. <laughs> so, um, when I first joined the military, I was 20, 20 21. I showed it to my unit. I had two ribbons and my name. That's like all I had. And I used to see all these like leaders that I thought were great and they had like 20, 30 ribbons, all these stripes, shiny shit. And I didn't even know what it was and I was like, that's success. I want to be like that. Like, what do I need to do to get all that cool stuff on my uniform? So I just started to work really hard and probably the, the dumbest advice I got was that in the army you're either really smart or you're really athletic that you're both. So I was like, well, I'm not that smart, so I'm just going to be really athletic. So I just started to try to outwork everybody. But my mentality on success was completely like backwards and wrong. So I just thought if I outwork people and I get noticed, then I would become successful. I'd get a bunch of recognition and stuff on my uniform, and I'd be a great soldier. So I didn't care. I didn't wish bad upon people, but I didn't really like want them to do good either. Like I just wanted myself to look good so that I could keep getting promoted and keep getting recognition. So I was doing nothing in private that would benefit me and all my peers around me or my team. I would just go to work, kind of check the box, you know, get the recognition I thought I deserved. And it wasn't until I started to think and like started thinking about becoming a leader and I noticed like I needed mentorship and I needed people in my life and all these leaders that I thought were great just kind of weren't there for me. So around this time also, I had a mentor of mine who used to always say something really simple. He'd say, try to be a good person and you'll be a better soldier. And it was really simple, but the more I thought about it, that it kind of just stuck with me. And I tried to apply that to everything in my life and I would just change that, that soldier part. So like, try to be a good person and you'll be a better brother or friend. Or try to be a good person and you'll be a better athlete. And I still try to apply that to my life today. So as I started, thinking about becoming a leader, I started thinking, what would a better person do? I was being the wrong type of soldier. So one area I focused on was helping people and helping the people around me be better. And I kind of got obsessed with that idea. But what I noticed was all the stuff I was doing behind the scenes, whether it was sacrificing my time on weekends, volunteering for things, helping people with their run time, because I always like to run. Um, staying after work, I wasn't getting recognition for those things, yet I felt more accomplished and I felt like I was impacting people's lives more. So I had to make a decision, do I want to do things to only get recognition or do I want to keep doing the behind the scenes work where I was actually making a difference. So I decided that I didn't want to be a fake leader like some of those people that weren't in my life. I wanted to be better and I wanted to keep making a difference. And if that meant not getting recognition, then I was okay with that. 
So I try to maintain that mentality, you know, as my military career continued. And I didn't need other people's satisfaction. I didn't need things to be seen for me to feel successful. And now that I look back on my career, I can honestly say I'm proud of all the work I did, whether I got recognized for it or not. So a lot of these awards that you see on my uniform, I got in those first couple of years when I joined. But all the great things I did, I, they barely got noticed. I didn't really get recognition. But I wasn't doing it for recognition at that point, so it didn't matter. So I challenge you guys, as you think about you know, the journey you're on, to have enough integrity to hold yourself accountable to do the small things as you continue and and know that not everything needs to be seen or in the spotlight for it to matter. You know, not all hustle is hurt. So just how my military career came to an end one day, you know, this this isn't gonna last forever. You're gonna wanna look back and know that you made a difference and not just put in the work, but you did it the right way. So that's my interpretation on what you do in private, for sure in public, and I hope you guys gain some of it. Thank you. Thank you, Jarno.